In the diagram below, a sequence of rigid motions maps ABCD onto JKLM. If angle A is 82 degrees, so angle A is 82, angle B is 104, angle L is 121, let me do a little better job of labeling that, 121, the measure of angle M is, okay, so we're trying to look for, we're looking for angle M here. You have to understand when a rigid motion is performed and the, uh, the original image or the original object is mapped onto the, uh, to the image, all the corresponding letters, uh, all the letters have to correspond. So A, just from notation here, I don't have to look, I don't even have to look at the diagram. A will correspond with J, B corresponds with K, C corresponds with L, and D corresponds with M. So with that understanding, uh, to find out what D equals to, or to find out what M equals to, I will need to look at angle D. And um, angle L, I can see just from my notation here, angle L corresponds with angle C. So therefore, angle C must equal to 121 because angle L corresponds with angle C. There's another property involving quadrilateral, since ABCD is a quadrilateral, that the angle measures inside of a quadrilateral, that all the sum of the interior angles, must add up to 360. So if I take 82, add it with 104, add it with 121, plus angle D, this must equal to 360. So to solve for D, I want to combine like terms on the left-hand side. 82 plus 104 plus 121, that should, that equals to 307. And so let's subtract 307 from both sides. We'll end up with D is equal to 53 degrees. And since angle D corresponds with angle M, angle M, therefore, is also equal to 53 degrees. So angle M is 53, and that would be option one.